Look at this vertigo effect, the subject is wobbling, but with my After Effects technique, the subject size stays precisely the same. Am I in focus? Yeah. There is a well-known dolly zoom shot in Alfred Hitchcock's movie Vertigo that visually emphasizes the fear of heights of the main character. And because the shot was so famous, the effect was named after this movie. Like in another Vertigo shot in Steven Spielberg's Jaws, the subject size stays the same while the environment stretches or squashes. And as long as you don't have a programmable slider or a robot cam, it's still a technical challenge to find the right balance between dollying and zooming. But thanks to After Effects, you just need a gimbal shot to achieve the vertigo effect. This is me standing with my camera in the Bavarian landscape. And on this footage, we're gonna simulate the dolly zoom. It works best with at least 4K resolution. And the less shaky, the better the result. Before I show you my technique, let me first rush through two common ways in After Effects. Number one. First, I'm gonna go to the last frame and define a reference region with the help of guides. In this case, it's my head. Then I'm gonna set a scale and position keyframe, go to the first frame and rescale and reposition the footage so my head stays within the guides. Let's hit play and it looks wobbly. This becomes more obvious when I accelerate the footage. Okay, next try, number two. In the tracker panel, I'm gonna press Stabilize Motion, check, scale and reposition the two tracking points to distinctive spots in the subject. It's important that the distance ratio between the two points stays the same, so it wouldn't work if I turned my body. Then I'm gonna analyze forward, press Apply, make sure that Apply Dimensions is set to X and Y and hit OK. Looks much better and it would work in most cases, but still, it's not 100% stable. Now I'm gonna show you the most precise technique. I'm gonna apply a Mocha AE effect to the footage layer, open Mocha AE, select the X-Spline tool, create a spline around the subject and hit the track forward icon. Then I'm gonna press the show planar surface icon. The blue rectangle represents the pinpoints you would use if you tracked a screen for screen replacement, for example. I made a tutorial about it. But in my case, I want to use the planar surface to stabilize the subject. And this is why I'm gonna push this icon to expand the planar surface to the entire frame. Then I'm gonna close Mocha AE, hit save, push the create tracking data button, select layer 1 and hit OK. And as you can see, the pinpoints are already placed at the corners. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna create a solid layer and apply the corner pin data to it. And as you can see, the white solid is tracked to me. But what I want is the opposite. I want the white solid, and thus me, to be stabilized. I'm gonna delete the solid layer, check invert and apply a CC power pin effect to the footage layer. Then I'm gonna open the properties of the CC power pin effect, alt right click on the top left stopwatch to enable expressions and expression pick whip the top left property of the Mocha AE effect. Same goes for top right, bottom left and bottom right. Now let's hit play and it looks very stable. Unfortunately, the background is a bit jerky. You can clearly see the walk-in movement of the gimbal operator. This is why a real dolly shot, slider shot or a drone shot would have a better result. Let's compare it to the hand animated version and the version stabilized by the built-in stabilizer. The subject is absolutely stable. Now we can nest it in a new composition that has HD format and scale it up so the crop is out of frame. And because the original footage is 4K, we won't lose image quality here. There is uh, one downside with this technique. Um, you should avoid moving objects because this can lead to unwanted results. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please like my video, subscribe my channel and turn on the bell to get notified of more tutorials. See you next time.